Hi everyone. So someone asked me how to solve minus infinity to infinity 2 sin 2t by pi t or we can say 2 pi by pi t. Right. So if we go by integration method as we learn in uh, engineering mathematics, so it may take so much time. Right. So this is amplitude, so I can make it is down. So minus infinity to infinity sin 2 pi t by pi t right so this is the signal so if i take x of t so there are some uh, we can say to solve very quick we can go for fourier transform method so fourier transform so what is this fourier transform we know that x of j omega is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt <coughs> Suppose in place of omega, if I substitute 0, so that is x of 0 is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of t into dt. Now, if you compare this and this, it's looking like same. In place of x of t, we are getting sin 2 pi t by pi t. That means if I know x of j omega for this signal, the Fourier transform of sin 2 pi t by pi t, if I know, at omega equal to 0, what is the magnitude? There is nothing but the integration of this. So, how to find the Fourier transform of that signal? So, it's very easy. So, there are uh, Fourier pairs will be there. Suppose, in the time domain, if there is a rectangular pulse, minus t to t sum. So, you will get a sync function in the uh, omega domain. If in this omega domain, if there is a minus w to w, and this is 1. This is omega domain. Now Fourier transform or uh, inverse Fourier transform will be sine w t by pi t. Right. So this is the pair we need to use. So when we discuss uh, signal system and Fourier transform, so I will clearly explain these concepts there. But just for now, remember in Fourier domain, suppose minus w to w and amplitude is 1. In a time domain, it will become sine w t by pi t. Right, so what is the W in this uh, 2 pi? Pi t is same, and in the case of uh, in place of W, we are having 2 pi. That means this my W is nothing but minus 2 pi to 2 pi. That's it. Now, see, I told you at omega equal to 0, what is the magnitude? So, what is the omega at omega equal to 0? The magnitude is nothing but 1, right? So x of t is nothing but 2 sin 2 pi t by pi t. So, this is x of j 0. But we need this. So, it is minus infinity to infinity sin 2 pi t by pi t dt is equal to 1 by 2 into x of j 0. x of j 0 we got 1. So, the area or we can say integration of this function sin 2 pi t by pi t dt is nothing but half so this is how to solve this type of problems right if the limits are not minus infinity to infinity suppose it is zero then we have to use laplace transform approach right so that we will see when we discuss the laplace transform in signals and systems i hope you got the required information how to solve these integrations right and uh, one more question uh, asked if there is a triangular what is the Fourier transform always remember it is a sync square in in frequency domain right so depending on minus t t t what is this you will get sync square f into t right so that is very simple one so if there is a triangular we will get just a sync function right sync f so depending on the this minus t by 2 to t by 2 and this should be a so we should get a sync f or a t into sync f etc right okay sorry so we have to sync functions so for triangular we get sync square so forget about the, what is the t time and amplitude and uh, this is a rectangular function we will get sync function so forget about this one right so we will uh, solve these type of problems when we talk about the signals and systems later right